Hi everyone. Today I'm going to compare the syllabus of SEBI and RBI. Both these examinations are around the corner. Kabhi bhi exam ho sakte hain. Any time the notification can be released. And therefore it becomes important ki aapko pata ho ki syllabus mein kya differences hain and kya commonalities hain. If you want to decide upon whether you want to write SEBI or RBI or both of them or none of them, it's very important that you have a rational comparison and understanding of syllabus of both these examinations. What are the overlapping areas and what are the unique areas? That is what we are going to focus upon today. After this session, it will become very, very clear to you whether you want to write any of these examinations, both of these exams or none of these exams. Start karte hain. Sabse pehle mein sebi se start karunga. The examination is held in three phases. Phase one, phase two and interview. Interviews exactly so the same for both these exams. Therefore, I won't be talking about the interview. Phase one or phase two ke baare mein baat karenge. If we start, if we talk about phase one, then the first uh, topic or subject that you have is quant or maths, which is of an easy level. Now, this is where it differs from RBI. Uski abhi shortly, we'll talk about that. The second one is reasoning, which is also of an easy level. And the third is English, which is expectedly also of an easy level. So this is unique about SEBI exam. In RBI exam, it is a little different. When we talk about the fourth and last element, that is GK, general knowledge or general awareness, you need to cover two magazines to be thoroughly prepared for general awareness. Number one, Spotlight and number one, RBI 247. A maximum of three months coverage is enough because there are only two questions, uh, 20 questions asked in SEBI examination. Teen mahina kafi hai. Now, if we compare it with RBI, if we RBI se compare karein, phase 1, ki baat karein, RBI ki, then what happens out here? You will see that the syllabus is exactly the same. We have quant, but here the difficulty level is very high. So, SEBI examination will give you a good start about quant reasoning in English and you can build up upon these three, examin these three subjects after you're done with SEBI, if you decide to write these two exams together. Alag alag likhne ka sooch rahe ho, matlab, koi bhi ek likhne ka sooch rahe ho, to fir, aapko easy difficult se zyada farak nahi padega, you prepare according to the level of the exam. Let me write here RBI versus SEBI. Okay, so that it becomes clear. Now, after quant, we have reasoning, which is also of a difficult level and therefore, you will have to build up on reasoning after you're done with SEBI examination here as well. But concepts are clear ho jayenge SEBI mein. It'll give you a good head start if you've not yet started preparing. If we talk about English, then this is where the level is exactly the same in both RBI as well as SEBI. And therefore, you will not have to prepare much. Only writing mocks will be enough when we are concerned with RBI examination. Lastly, Let's come to GK or general awareness. In general awareness, you have to cover a lot more in RBI because the number of questions increase from 20, it suddenly increases to 80 in RBI and therefore the depth and the breadth of the coverage also increases. You have to cover Spotlight, you have to cover RBI 247, you have to cover additionally PIB 247, and you also have to cover topic based current affairs. When I say topic based current affairs, what do I mean? I mean economic survey, union budget, government schemes, indices, reports, annual surveys, committees. These are all topic based current. Mein aati hai. Let me highlight these areas for you. So, this is additional PIV 247. Topic based current affairs is additional. Spotlight and RBI 247 remain the same. Now, what is also unique here is Spotlight, three to six months of coverage is relevant. Similarly, RBI and PIB 247, I personally recommend one year, but minimum is six months. So, six months to one year for PIB and RBI 247. Six months is the minimum, one year is the maximum that you can cover. So these are the additional areas that you have to cover and these are the additional months you have to cover. In quant and reasoning, the difficulty level also changes. Everything else remains the same. 
ये हमें कॉमनैलिटीज पता लग गई और डिफरेंसेस भी पता लग गए व्हेन वी टॉकिंग अबाउट फेज वन लेट्स नाउ कम टू फेज टू ऑफ बोथ दीज एग्जाम्स लेट मी फर्स्ट स्टार्ट विद सेबी सेबी से स्टार्ट करते हैं इन सेबी यू हैव फाइनेंस यू हैव मैनेजमेंट देर आर अ टोटल ऑफ सिक्स सब्जेक्ट्स फाइनेंस मैनेजमेंट देन देर इज अकाउंट्स then there is economics then we have companies act and finally we have costing okay questions from only these six subjects are asked there is no current affairs in sebi phase 2 so you don't have to be worried about it uh let me highlight the unique areas accounts economics companies act and costing these are the unique areas everything else remains common between sebi and rpi exam finance and management is exactly the same so if you think that you can take on the challenge of covering these four additional subjects in phase 2 of sebi then only get into the prep mode of sebi if you are from commerce background i would recommend very strongly that you should go and write the examination aapko bahut advantage milega there is one other subject in sebi which is called as english descriptive or english writing which is unique uh, which is common between both sebi as well as rbi yahan pe exam mein likh ke aaoge prepare karoge automatically you will be prepared for rbi as well the level also is exactly the same let's come to now rbi phase 2 as i said two things remain the same finance and management the level is also the same सब कुछ बराबर है दोनों एग्जाम्स के सिलेबस में देर आर देर इज वन मोर सब्जेक्ट विच इज इकोनॉमिक एंड सोशल इश्यूज विच इज नॉट कवर्ड और नॉट आस्ट इन सेबी बट यूनिक टू आरबीआई तो ये आपको अलग से करना ही पड़ेगा दिस इज समथिंग दैट यू कैन कवर आफ्टर यूर डन विद सेबी एग्जामिनेशन देर इज अनदर थिंग दैट इज यूनिक टू आरबीआई एंड दैट इज करेंट तो आपको यहां पर जितना भी आपने करेंट फेज वन से पहले कवर किया था यू हैव टू रिवाइज इट बिकॉज समवेयर ऑफ दर दैट कम्स इन फेज टू एज वेल द रीजन आई रिकमेंड दैट टू कवर फेज वन दैट यू कवर फेज टू करंट अफेयर बिफोर फेज वन इज बिकॉज फेज वन के बाद ज्यादा टाइम नहीं होता है देर इज ओनली टाइम टू रिवाइज दे फोर इट्स ओनली बेनिफिशियल इफ यू हैव डन फेज टू करंट अफेयर बिफोर फेज वन इट सेल्फ एक और चीज आती है आरबीआई फेज टू में दैट इज इंग्लिश राइटिंग Just like SEBI, exactly the same. थोड़ा सा पैटर्न में फर्क हो सकता है इंस्टेड ऑफ प्रेस यू माइट है लेटर और यू माइट हैवर रीडिंग कॉम्प्रीहेंशन यू माइट हैव मोर क्वेश्चन बट ऑलमोस्ट द सेम पैटर्न इज फॉलोड इन बोल दीज एग्जाम्स तो अगर इफ यू प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर सेबी इफ यू गेट अ चांस टू राइट फेज टू यू विल ऑटोमेटिकली बी प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर आरबीआई एज वेल कहीं ना कहीं आपको फायदा मिलेगा ओके सो दिस इज द ओवरऑल कंपेरिजन ऑफ दीज टू एग्जाम्स लेट मी make it small so that you can see it and then you can compare it ye ye hamare differences hain jo bhi differences hain wo maine highlight kar diye hain pib 247 topic wise topic wise current affairs account eco companies act costing and esi these are the unique areas jo aapko alag alag cover karne padenge everything else remains the same to hum dekh sakte hain 50 to 60% syllabus same hai uh 40 to 50 percent syllabus is unique to both these exams. I would recommend if you are student preparing for SEBI or RBI for a long time, छः सात महीने हो चुके हैं prepare करते हुए, then you should write both these exams. Number two, if you are from commerce background, that you should then you should certainly write SEBI. कोई chance ही नहीं है कि आप इसको ignore करो या ढंग से prepare करके ना दो. Okay? If you have any questions and if you want me to talk about combined strategy of both these exams RBI and SEBI please mention in the comment section below tabhi main uski video bana ke aapke samne dalunga aur bataunga ki dono ki taiyari how do you prepare for both these exams together i'll also give you a time table jisse ki aap acche se taiyari kar pao i'll see you very soon guys take care bye bye jai hind